You know how it's really easy to spot a tiny mark on someone's shirt, or how a bright star stands out in a dark sky? Our eyes are naturally drawn to the highest contrast. I don't know why, probably evolution, but we can use it to our advantage when we're making art. As an artist, you're basically a very fancy tour guide, using contrast to take the viewer on a journey around a painting. It's easiest to see this in black and white, where we can use light or dark to draw attention to whatever we choose is special. Here I tried to grab your attention in the middle, then lead it down into the corner, and use the more subtle turns in the cloud to swoop you off into the distance. But also, we can use the contrast between colours, from opposite sides of the colour wheel. Yellow and purple, red and green, blue and orange, they'll always stand out really nicely from each other. So we can even use both techniques at once. Looking at this John Wick chair, which is a shorter version of John Wick picture that I like to use to save time, attention is drawn towards the yellow gunshot in the middle, which contrasts really nicely against the purple background. And then those yellow lines guide us back to the most important bit, a tiny white dog contrasting against the dark suit. When you're making art, remember, the viewer's eyeballs are on holiday and you're picking them up from the airport. 